In a small warm pub on a dark cold night sat a young man, a sorry sight. Hunched over the bar with a pen at the ready. He hadn't got very far. The page was still empty. Well, this is impossible. The man suddenly exclaimed. He threw down his pen and said, I should explain. See, I'm an author. I write stories for small children. However, I find myself with a problem. My ideas aren't exactly in the millions. Please forgive me for my intrusion. However, there is an easy solution. But to get back into the flow, just, just write from what you know. Ah. If only it were that simple, my friend. But I'm afraid that strategy won't work in my case. For when it comes to writing children's stories, reality is often an inappropriate base. No? Uh. <laughs> For example, let me tell you the tale of my latest date. One that proves that nothing should be left to fate. This is a tale just like all the rest. A story of boy meets girl. Cliché, I must confess. However, this tale is not quite what it seems. For this girl, she was not the girl of his dreams. They met one day completely by chance, after months of being at the same stop, but never giving more than a glance. She sat down on the bench with a great big sigh, besides the boy who said, Sorry, I don't mean to pry, but you seem a little stressed. Is there anything I can do? Something I could suggest? She said, thank you. But that was the last bus that would get there on time. So there was nothing he could do. That may be so. However, hope is not lost. I'll just have to keep you entertained while we wait with our fingers crossed. <laughs> the world passed them by as they talked and they talked, and the boy forgot to be shy. So, what do you say, after work today, we go for a coffee to end the day? Yes. But first... The girl leaned closer, her heart beating so fast it could burst. Damn. Later? That sounds like a plan. Forgive me, I didn't think. This is a colleague of mine. We were actually on our way to get a drink. Oh, sounds great. Where are we going? Confused, the boy decided to tell her straight. We were heading to a restaurant down this way. Perfect. I'm starving. There's no time to delay. The boy and the girl raised a glass of wine. To the start of a beautiful... Oh, well, that one's mine. As the night wore on, the boy began to lose hope. Until finally. <laughs> Oi, Garçon, your bog's out of soap. <laughs> well, it's time to go home. We're off to work in the morning, you see. Come on, I'm not walking home all alone. Yeah, have any more of that and you'll have to crawl. <laughs> Oh, 
Wait, I don't have your number. How am I supposed to call? Ah, oh, now I get what you mean. Where was the moral message in that scene? Sometimes it's... Okay, they tell people to piss off. I suppose that's true. He said with a cough. <coughs> How can I help? Red wine. Red wine? story that may fit. About a man I used to work with and how I made him quit. In an office full of people working the daily grind sits a young woman bored out of her mind. Sat at the next desk was a man that she did hate. A man so irritating, she decided that she needed to set him straight. One day, the man left the room. And in his absence, an idea began to bloom. God damn it. <laughs> the man was defeated. Red with embarrassment, slowly he began to sit. However, the very next day, the woman returned to work to see her colleague had got his revenge. and was watching her with a smirk. Sounds like it caused both of you a lot of strife. What'd you do next? I slept with his wife. Well, how about you? In this line of work, you must have one or two. I have a story, but it Maybe too crass, I presume. The Tower of the Elephant in the Room. He waited for a taxi outside in the cold, next to a pretty woman who decided to be bold. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, did My you, name's Tracy. Did you see me in there? Yeah, I did. Oh, right. <laughs> she introduced herself <laughs> on a whim, then gradually yeah. shuffled closer as she flirted with him. Yeah. 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 Do they not sort of tickle your fancy? Yeah, it's one too. No, not really. No. You did tickle my fancy, <laughs> oh, though. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, the taxi from our side. Yeah. It was lovely to meet you, anyway. Yes, you really too. Was. Have, uh, have a good night. Mm. Would you like to come along? <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. The woman leans in close. I'm wearing a... Um. Oh, 
Sorry. Coat. Back to the woman's house they went, and together the night and the next morning they spent. You never guess what happened last night. The very next day, the bartender paid a visit to his friend and told him the tale of the night before. More specifically, how it did end. Up and I thought, I'll do the gentlemanly thing. I'll let her go first. Guess what she done? She opened the door and she said, do you want to uh, come back to mine? Fuck. Honestly, she said, do you want to come back to mine? I was like, well, I don't even know you. I don't even know you. Obviously, I went back. Obviously. Um, and I'll tell you what, mate, it was, it was just crazy. It was an absolutely crazy night. Nice. It really was, mate. Oh, that'll be my mother. She said she'd uh, pay me a visit. Okay, cool. Hello. Hey, How are okay? you? Yeah, I'm well. How's the journey? Good, thank you. Excellent. But stood in the doorway was the bartender's lover. Yeah, what's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. What followed next was no more than awkward patter. <clears throat> How lovely of you to come. No problem at all. Until finally. Dude, he slept with your mum. Appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Okay, can I go now? Yeah, you can leave, yeah. Wow. It seems that what all these tales lack is a clear moral message that into these stories you can pack. That may not be true. It seems like mistakes are these stories, Glue. I so. We all made mistakes. But from them, now we know. We learnt from them. It is the best way. The author picked up his pen.